Good morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm getting ready to leave the uh, rest stop that I stayed at overnight. It was extremely quiet. Very peaceful. I got some really, really good sleep. Um, I had plans on going to a really good beach today, but it's raining. It's supposed to rain for the next, I think, hour or two. And uh, then it's supposed to be sunny. So what I'm going to do, and it's pretty chilly out. It's 54 degrees. I know. I know. I'm getting spoiled. Uh, but 54 degrees is pretty chilly and it's windy when you're used to upper 80s and almost 90s. Uh, so right now, because I can't go to the beach because it's raining, I'm going to hit up <clears throat> REI. We're headed to Tampa, Florida to hit up REI. I want to pick up some hiking boots that are for hiking, uh, that are waterproof, um, because I plan on doing a lot of that. So, and I need a coffee. <laughs> I, I've got a full tank of gas. I'm good with that. And, um... Yeah, let's get ready to hit the road. Uh, I'll see you guys when I'm on the road. So, REI is 26 minutes away. Um, it doesn't look like there's any heavy traffic or any accidents. So, let's get ready to get out of here. And we're out. Everything is going to work out and I'm going to find parking. That's compact for future residents that can't park there. Um, we're going to, there's REI right there. And it says do not enter. And, but we're going to go down this way and see if I can find parking. Um, how do I get in there? How do I get in there? Oh, there is, I can get in there. Okay, we did it. I literally don't know how. I literally, you know, I know how. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. I appreciate you. Office and visitors only. Uh, yeah, we're going to park right here. This is REI parking. And we found a spot. We're here, guys. REI. Whoo, sheesh. Midtown ain't no joke. Uh, uh. We're gonna back in this time. I'm, I'm, I'm not pulling in, not in this parking lot. No, we're backing in. Your girl's a pro at it. What did that guy say at uh, Clearwater Beach? 
I never see nobody park a, back up that fast and park that smooth. You haven't met me. Okay, we're ready. I put my hoodie on because, fam, it's cold. Let's go in. A lot of people staring. Yeah, it's my baby. All right, let me show you. Let me rest this up a bit where we're parked. Show you. This is Midtown. That's where I'm parked. And I think those are like apartments or condos. You know, they're paying some money. But Midtown's pretty nice. Pretty nice. There's the I R R R E I co-op. Hopefully they have uh, just enough, as much as the REI actual place. That's the Spectrum. I think that's like a mobile store. And that's where I came in. So let's go into REI and see what they got. Let, let me lock my door. Your girl always trying to forget to lock her door. All right, I'll see you inside. I don't know if there's going to be music or not, but I'll see you inside. So I found uh, a really good shoe that is good for trail, hiking, running. It's all around, and it's these right here. Um, she's going to go get them. They're called uh, Solomons and they're extremely light. So I'm happy to try them on. Hopefully they work and fit because I, I just can't, I have too many shoes. They're old, the soles are messed up. So I need something that's all around. So hopefully uh, they'll fit. I'll let you guys know in a bit. Got the goods. Okay, I will show you what I got here in a minute. Oh, um, the next thing we need to do is find me some coffee. It's still raining, so it's still not going to be a beach day, but uh, I'm going to do coffee and then I want to find a grocery store because I'm running low on food. Literally, all I have is rice, eggs, I have some beans, but I'm going to use those beans that I have in my cabinet as kind of emergency food. Um, I don't want to eat those. That's going to be like if I'm in a position where I just cannot buy food or if I'm out somewhere, uh, you know, stealth camping or camping out somewhere and I can't buy food, then I have those beans. I have that chicken, uh, Swanson's chicken in a can. Um, I'm keeping all that for emergency. That's my emergency stash. So when you take that out, <laughs> literally all your girl has is um, eggs, rice, and some peppers. That's it. Um, I could make an egg, rice, and pepper dish for later, but I still want to pick up maybe uh, some chicken breast for like a protein source. And then that's it. But yeah, your girl's out in Florida living her life, shopping, you know, running errands. Like I'm a Floridian now. <laughs> like I'm getting used to it. Not 100%, but I, I'm getting there. And then uh, if it's still raining, then I, I think today will just be a, a chill kind of lay low day and uh, find a place to kind of hang out in stealth camp. So we'll see what the weather's looking like. I'm going to check the forecast, but it said it's supposed to stop raining by 10 o'clock. And what time is it? It is 1041. So we'll check. I'll get back with you guys when I'm on the road. See you guys in a bit. Oh my God, almost hit the vehicle. There we go. are headed to Trader Joe's and I've never been so here we go we're here 
Trader Joe's. Uh, never been. Hopefully it's affordable because you know your girl's frugal and I'm not about to pay a lot of money for food. I'm just not. So we will see. I'm going to back right into this spot right here because the Trader Joe's parking lot is very tiny. I've noticed that in big cities and areas where there are like a lot of like rich areas, it's parking lots are like, hey, we don't need a parking lot because we'll just send somebody, no, let me stop. We'll just send somebody to, okay, we go. we're in Trader Joe's. Uh, let's go. I've never been. Uh, curious to see what it's like inside. And it now just stopped raining, so that's good. Let me show you guys what the parking lot's looking like. This is a rich Trader Joe's area. Let me show you. Okay, this is where I'm parked. See how small the parking lot is? Like, they don't really have a lot of parking. <clears throat> so we're gonna head inside. And, uh, yeah. See you guys in a bit. We won't need that because we won't be spending that much money. Trader Joe's, oh my goodness. I love that place. I couldn't leave, I was stuck in a Trader Joe's vortex. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul. Let's go do this freaking um, grocery haul and then we can get up out of here. I'm thinking I'm gonna head to the space, uh, uh, the NASA Space Center. Hold on fam, hold on. Uh, let me get that, I'll, I'll be right back guys, I'll be back. We are gonna do a quick grocery haul and then we're gonna get out of here. Um, it was cold and raining earlier, but now the sun is out so I can get rid of this hoodie. Okay, so this is what I got from Trader Joe's. I got some garlic cheese breadsticks, never seen those. I got some um, reduced fat cheese puffs. I love cheese puffs and when it says reduced fat, that just means your girl can eat more. I got some uh, shredded cabbage red, green, and some carrots in it. Um, I got some tofu. I got the teriyaki flavor tofu and I got the sriracha flavor. Never had it. I'm so looking forward to this. Um, I got some uh, pesto uh, rosso, tomato-based pesto sauce with Parmesan cheese and cashews, a product of Italy. I cannot wait to try that. And hello, sriracha seasoning. What? You know I had to get that. Then I got, if you've never had bread cheese, what are you waiting on? This is the best cheese I've ever had. You literally cut off a little slice. You put it in whatever bread you like, warm it up. You can eat it like that, but I like to put a little honey on it. Um, so hot honey it is. And I got two of them. And uh, these are usually really expensive. Ones in Michigan I paid was like $8.99, $9.99. This was... $3.99 or $2.99 per? Was it $3.99 per? I, I would have got like two more of these bad boys. Then I got some sweet Italian chicken sausage. And then I got some cheddar chicken sausage. And then finally, last but not least, I got some sirloin steak tips. This is a grocery haul. I love Trader Joe's. Uh, Trader Joe's has a fan for life. I will definitely be going back. Let me put all this up. Since it did stop raining and the sun is out, um, I'll see if I can find like a nearby beach to kind of hang out and chill, chill at. Just today will be just another chill, kind of relaxed day of doing errands, getting groceries done, uh, got my hiking boots. And then uh, tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna go check out the NASA shuttle landing. I've always wanted to go. I'm super stoked, super excited. So that's where I'll be going. Let me put all this up and I'll see you guys when I'm on the road. Should I keep this? Yeah, I guess I can figure out something to do with this. Also, I'm still at Trader Joe's. I need to hurry up and leave because they're very limited in parking and I, I don't want to be selfish and take up this spot right here. I 
am so glad I drove out this way. Wow. Florida never gets old, man. <laughs> this is beautiful. Per usual, per usual, I'm always praying that there's parking because I am coming a bit late. It's uh, 4.41 in the afternoon and I just felt like going to the beach. Um, while I'm in Florida, I'm going to go to as many beaches as I can. I want to see the popular ones, the not so popular, the private, the well known. Like, I want to see it all. And so I am going to be at Butler Beach in about a minute. And uh, I wonder if there's parking. I highly doubt it, but we'll see. Um, we're here. I don't know how to get there. I don't see an entrance into the beach. Uh, no overnight parking. I guess people tend to do that. Uh, what is, is this it? Oh, this is not what I expected. Um, yeah, this is, looks like swampland with alligators. So we're just going to kind of just chill, I guess, you know? I'm not getting, I mean, this is it right here. Um, hmm. So this is a part of Butler Beach, but this ain't the part I'm trying to go to. But let me show you what it's looking like outside of my uh side door i don't it looks like alligator land honestly but it's still nice i mean let me show you what i'm looking at it's beautiful but this is not what i saw on um google so i i have to believe i'm in the wrong part of butler beach but this is still very beautiful i mean it's gorgeous it's like literally right outside um you know. And then they have the no overnight parking signs because I'm sure people have done that in the past. But this is where we're at. Um, it's a nice little turnaround, a place where you can kind of chill and hang out. But um, yeah, I want to find the beach. It's cold too. It's real cold out here. Uh, cute little couple going fishing. But yeah, let me show you where I'm, I'm kind of... If y'all see any alligators coming out of that marsh, let me know. Look at me, my obsession with alligators. But yeah, this is where my van is. And uh, that's where we're at. All right, let's get back inside and figure out where I'm at. Okay, uh, oh, let me. Okay, Butler Beach is on the other side of the road. A nice gentleman, uh, heaven sent. <laughs> I swear, God works in mysterious ways. I'm just like, where is Butler Beach? He's like, oh, it's on the other side of the road. Just go straight ahead. So we're getting out of here. That was still a beautiful spot, actually. Um, I should pin it, because uh, this is a spot I wouldn't mind coming and hanging out and chilling out all day. This is a really nice, really nice spot. Very grateful to have found that spot. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to Butler Beach. He said it's a straight across. So I'll see you guys when we get to Butler Beach. See you guys in a bit. Um, Google steered me wrong. I'm gonna have to do Garmin. Google definitely steered me wrong. <laughs> we are here, fam. We are here, finally. Oh my gosh, look at all that beautiful parking. All right, I'll see you guys when I'm on the beach. All right, let's roll, let's roll. Oh, it's chilly out. I got my little backpack. Uh, this is where I'm parked. Guess I could have straightened her out, but that's not many people here. So that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Let's make sure we're good. Yeah, we're good. Um, we're gonna take this ramp over there to the beach. Uh, look at these nice houses. I don't think they're so nice during hurricane season, but 
nonetheless they're beautiful beautiful homes leave no trace amen uh, let me fix you guys up so yeah Google steered me wrong it took me into some neighborhood I know they were about to call the police on me because um, I literally kept uh, turning around and <laughs> turning around and returning around I just couldn't find where the entrance was so I stopped some like looked like lifeguards getting off duty they were in their truck and I asked them and they're like oh you enter in from Mary Street look at these beautiful dunes beautiful huh that's where we gotta go that's beautiful let's go it was so worth the drive out here um, and that little hidden cove that I found too I'll definitely be going back there. I got that marked. I know exactly where that's at. God bless you. God is simply amazing and powerful. Lord, I love you. If you ever doubted, our Lord God, look what he has created. That is a sign of power. That is beautiful. My Let's go. It's cold. Everybody's got blankets and stuff. I got some shorts on and a hoodie. It's freezing. All right, let's go down these beautiful stairs. Look at that sand. It's beautiful. We're gonna go find a place to sit on the beach. I'm just gonna enjoy my day. It's funny that the people that are facing the sitting on the beach, uh, they're not facing the, the ocean at all. They got their backs to it because it's so windy, but I'm gonna be the only one. I'm not putting my back to this. And you can drive on this, but mine is not a four wheel drive. So I wouldn't dare. Look at that bird. It was sitting in that little shoe print. It was sitting in there. Or it looks like it was eating something. beach is so freaking amazing oh, Florida you've got so many hidden jewels it's so ridiculous it's beautiful oh my heavens and you can drive onto this beach Butler Beach you can drive on it there is a spot where you can enter in and drive on it but I'm not a, I don't have a four-wheel drive all right your girl would have been driving on that beach I promise you that look at this wow that's uh sight to see. Drive on this beach, but I'm not going to do it. The sand is too soft and your girl will get stuck. Ah! That's another thing to consider when you're doing van life. Get a four wheel drive. You'll, you'll get access to this beautiful, like all of this. This is gorgeous. This is Butler Beach. And notice not a lot of people are here. It's one of those beaches, it's off the Gulf. It's, uh, it's, it's a perfect, it's a perfect area. And it is a bit chilly, but I don't care, man. Look at this. This is my kind of beach. You got the privacy. You got the quietness, the solitude. Oh, I love it. These are the kind of beaches I love, love, love. Look at this beach. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the waves. Oh, this is wonderful. It's beautiful. Let's go out a little further. Oh. Butler Beach is my kind of beach. Oh man. Mm. I love it. Look at those waves in the background. Look how beautiful. Oh, oh, oh yes. Look at this. Look at what I'm seeing. Oh. Woo! 
look at that. It's beautiful. That's amazing. I'd love to see some dolphins. That thing went almost up my whole my whole waist. This is the dream. This is what I envisioned. This is what I worked hard for. This is this is it. <sighs> to be able to do this and just experience the many different beaches. Florida. I love Florida, man. I've kind of this journey's been really emotional for me. It's just I've just been all over the place. Man, take a look at these waves. Let me show you. journey has been really emotional for me and uh, you guys wouldn't understand it you know to an outsider looking in it's like man she can't make her mind up she's you know she's changing her mind she doesn't want to stay here long but that that's not it you know I'm, go I'm 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 embracing my journey as I go along I'm embracing certain spots I'm learning to live uh, differently with each state I'm learning to embrace everything that a state has to offer. Let me fix you guys. And um, it's a, it's wonderful. I, I love Florida, man. I'm gonna embrace every single beach I can get my 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 hands on, get my feet in. Man, it's a feeling I can't describe. My journey is definitely all over the place, but I definitely have a destination. But I just just not a destination right now. I'm just I'm just out here living living. So just sit back and enjoy it. This is my journey. This is this is how I'm living right now. It may not make sense to you, but trust me, it makes sense to me. What's up fam? Uh, I'm at Cocoa Beach, Florida. It's a nice sunny day. Uh, what is the temperature? I forgot. I want to say the temperature is like 73 degrees, but it feels like it's hotter. Um, let me show you where I'm parked. I am in 90 minute parking. I got really lucky to get this spot because there's like literally no parking in this Cocoa Beach area, like zero. But this is where I'm parked. Uh, lucky me. And I hope it's not metered parking because you, oh, it is metered. Oh, metered. I found it. I knew it. All right, so let me get this number down, find the meter and uh, pay for it. And then I'll see you guys when I am closer to the beach or on the beach. So, oh, and this time I got sunscreen on, so I'm prepared. So I'll see you guys in a minute. This is, I guess, downtown Cocoa Beach. It's busy, busy, busy. Uh, palm trees everywhere. Really nice. So 
So I didn't bring my chair or anything because I don't plan on staying long. There is another beach I want to check out here in a minute. So we're just going to walk along this beach. And it's pretty, it's pretty packed, but it's beautiful. Cocoa Beach is absolutely stunning. Uh, absolutely stunning. Let me show you what I see. What a Look, 2,000 people here. Anyways, um, when I get closer to the water, I'll show you um, what I see. This is beautiful. Well, let's show you the beach real quick. It's a lot of people. I mean, but it's nice, beautiful, sunny skies. Um, we got a lifeguard, and I guess it's a red flag day, which means you don't get in the water. Maybe it means choppy waters. This is where they're supposed to be launching. Um, Elon's supposed to be launching. This is where you can see the SpaceX launch uh, tomorrow. But I don't know if I'm gonna come because it's it's gonna be probably triple this amount of people. <sighs> wow. Uh, let me show you the water. It's beautiful. Let me show you what I see. Look at this water. Oh my gosh. I want to feel the waves, man. Every beach. Oh, this feels good. Oh, it's freezing. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Hell, no. Hell no. Oh, good God. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, your girl is soaked. Look at that. Look at that. Coco Beach is beautiful. Let's see if we can catch a big wave. Here we go. Race for it. Ah, oh, that's a small one. Let's wait for a bigger one. This is it right here. Ah, ah. Whoa. This is beautiful. Oh my God. Wow. I, I think Coco. I've never seen it like this. This is crazy. My whole shorts is gone. Retired. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh man, I'm gonna have to walk around until I dry off. But aren't the waves gorgeous? Aren't they gorge? This is a. Uh... Shh! I thought something was stuck to my toe. Oh heck no! This beach is uh, one for the record book. Probably one of the best. Uh, Coco Beach is up there. Coco Beach is up there. Let's catch this wave. Ooh, Ooh. look at the wave behind me. Look at that. Oh. Okay, my whole backside is wet. Girl, what am I, a reporter live on the beach? Check this out. We'll see if we can get a better one. Hold on, brace, brace for impact, brace for impact. Nah, that was a weak one. We gonna get us a big one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For those of you who love the beach as much as me, nah, that's a weak one. Oh, we want a strong one. Oh, this is four, this is, here we go fam, here we go. Here we go. Oh. You got wet, huh? We'll get another one. Damn, I couldn't go out there. I'm not a strong enough swimmer. I can't go out there like that. They got kids out there. I should be ashamed of myself. I'm not doing it. There's no way I'm doing it. I'm not, I'm used to Michigan. This is a whole other beast. My God.
round two. <laughs> Your girl don't feel like cooking uh, tonight. Um, I have to be up super early because I'm going to be going somewhere uh, tomorrow morning, which is going to be a surprise. I don't want to tell you guys just yet. I'm excited. This is my bucket list. This is like one of my bucket list things that I've always, always, always wanted to be a part of. I'll just say bucket list. And I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, I'm super excited. It's supposed to happen tomorrow. I don't want to tell you just in case it doesn't. So with that being said, I'm not cooking. I need to be up early and I need to get to this place by 5 a.m. We're at Chick-fil-A, round two. Uh, this time I'm going to try the fries. Um, and I like it so much. So I'm going to go in, grab my food. And I will see you guys in the living room area of my van uh, shortly. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Chick-fil-A, round two. Um, this time I got a lemonade. I tried it, it's really nice. I got waffle fries and I couldn't wait, fam. I pretty much ate through them already. They're nice. Uh, they're not crunchy, but they're still good. I got a classic chicken sandwich like last time. And then a medium macaroni. And ketchup and their Chick-fil-A sauce, so. Um, the only thing that I didn't try that I already just tried was the fries. They're, like I said, they're good. They're just really soft, but they're still good. And that lemonade tastes really nice. It's not overly sweet. It's just right. So let me explain myself. I didn't, I wanted to have dinner with you guys yesterday, but I couldn't have dinner with you guys because there's no sauce on this. I thought this came with like sauce. Um, I wanted to have dinner with you guys yesterday, but I couldn't because um, the Crackle Barrel that I was sleeping at last night, um, it was next to like a club, like um, a Latino club or something like that. Or, and they were playing music so loud and the bass was so loud that it was shaking my van. I was just like, I can't. I said, I'll just wait until, you know, the music slows down. So I was while I was waiting, I fell asleep so I wasn't um, gonna make this a two-day video you know like day one and then the next day but it ended up working out that way because I went to Cocoa Beach I was just gonna chill out and hang out there but I took you guys with me and Cocoa Beach is really nice isn't it so here you go have that bite right there first bite goes to you Cocoa Beach was really nice yes there was a lot of people but it didn't matter like I for some reason, I enjoyed that beach. Um, there was a nice little stretch of beach when I walked further down that didn't have people. And I realized why, because I passed the sign that said no lifeguard uh, support after the, after you pass the sign. So that's why people kind of stayed on the other side of that sign, but I didn't, I didn't care. I was really safe and stuff. I didn't go in. Mm-hmm. Just how I remember it. Really good. Those waves. Now, if I had to imagine in my head what waves would be like, real waves, it was those waves at Cocoa Beach. Wow. Also, as I was leaving, when I was coming in Cocoa Beach, I noticed there was pull-offs but that you could pull off on the side of the road and enjoy the ocean, which is really cool. There's so many pull-offs that I could even, like my van would fit. But I, I noticed it, but it didn't dawn on me. Like, and I didn't realize the scale of it until when I was leaving Cocoa Beach and I saw a lot of people in those pull-offs and coves. I was like, I could come chill here. So I'm definitely gonna be, that's a chill spot that I'm definitely gonna be chilling at because I'm an early bird. And when I was on my way to Cocoa Beach, there wasn't a lot of people, so there so i'll be able to get a good spot because i am an early bird so i'm definitely going back to uh chill at the pull off and i could pull in on the right side of the highway to where when i open my van door i can get that nice ocean breeze and just have a nice view and just chill out all day that's something i'm definitely going to do mm hmm This Chick-fil-A sauce is nice. Really good. I 
I really, I'm really enjoying just getting up in the morning and just heading to the beach. I'm, I'm this is like, that's what I envisioned in my head. Oh, I'm sad. It's over. I'm sad. Like, that's what I truly envisioned. Just getting up and going to the beach. Like this morning I woke up, I went to Planet Fitness. I worked out for like an hour and a half, took a shower and went to the beach. That's my ideal life, just being on the beach. I, I took you guys with me, I showed you a little bit of the beach and then I hung out at the beach for a minute after, you know? I had to pay for parking, but it, it didn't matter. I got a good spot. I was literally a, like a, a couple minutes walk away from the beach. And that is my ideal life. Just getting up, sh gym, shower, beach. Still not quite, I'm still not used to the traffic and the driving, how people drive here. I'm not used to it just yet. I'm getting used to it, but I'm always, I'm always like, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, please don't let nobody slam into the back of me. I just don't want to deal with that. This Chick-fil-A sauce is so good. I mean, that sauce is so good. Mmm. <clears throat> today was perfect I got some sun finally started wearing sunscreen here you go guys have that bite mm, macaroni is good isn't it mm-hmm mm-hmm I mean look at that Mm. I'm getting full. Ooh. I'm getting full. I haven't even. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm at Crackle Barrel. Again, uh, Florida has tons of Crackle Barrels. Pick one. So. I'm just chilling for the night. This is where I'm hunkered down. I'm going to try to go to bed early so that I can get up early and uh, go where I'm going. And hopefully everything works out. But I'm getting used to Florida. Everything is coming together. You know. I'm so grateful. God has definitely blessed me with an, the life that I envisioned in my head. He gave it to me. So I'm very blessed for that. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and finish the rest of my dinner. However much, if not, I'll have leftovers for tomorrow. And uh, cross your fingers for me, guys. Hopefully uh, what I have planned for tomorrow works out. I know it will. Come on, let's go. I appreciate you guys more than you know um you guys show up and show out and um uh, i love your stories i love reading your stories you guys are just an amazing community very humble very positive and for those of you who are new um you do got you guys ask you know questions that i have definitely answered in a lot of my videos i encourage you you don't have to but i encourage you to just go back and watch some of my videos you'll understand my journey you'll understand why i'm doing the things that i'm doing you know just go ahead and you know if you have time to try to start from the beginning but um you guys are awesome thanks for hanging out with me thanks for taking time out of your day to chill with me have dinner have a have a little conversation a little bit of chit chat you know it means a lot to me. Thank you. But I'm out. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.